What are you doing? Oh, you guys, I texted Eddie. You guys still going? Yeah, we're waiting. We've been sitting here with a thumb up my ass. He's coming in now. I'm in conversation here. What the fuck, Eddie? I texted I'm in conversation here. I fucking texted you. I texted you, Eddie. You didn't respond. The last time I got in trouble for texting you, Jay Cutler interview, I was setting up the sneaky. I've been I've been outside waiting for you. I I've been sitting here with a goddamn thumb up my ass. Can you hear us now? You probably like that though, don't you, Dave? No. The little ass play. Not yours. I don't. I don't hate it, but <laughs> yeah, not exactly. Real. What's not up, guys? What's wrong with your voice? Uh, I sat next to Stu Finer at a live stream last night, and this is what happens. You try to keep up with that guy. You know what it's like. And Frank the Tank was to my left. How long are you in town for? Till Thursday morning. Three nights. Of course, you didn't show up. Down in Florida, living it up. I got it, buddy. I flew buddy. in. I got it. I. Eight hour delay. I got in at like four in the morning. I'm all over the place. I'm in Vegas calling fights. I'm in Toronto I, I, eating pizzas, pissing people off. Remember back in the day when you were flying private everywhere? What the hell happened to that? No eight hour delays when you got a PJ. What are you checked our fucking stock lately? I got yeah, I got to <laughs> I got to lead. I got to lead from the front. I can't be crisscrossing the country on a private jet when we're in the toilet. I thought it was all about just to keep the environment a little safer. No, you know, not no, keep no. Keep your carbon no. footprint down. You're one of no, those. Real... No, I know, I know. No, no, no. By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm a galactic star in Toronto. Yeah, I heard you're huge there. Monster. I'm a fucking monster. That's why, like Canadians who think that, yeah, Can Canadians are very loud, liberally, but then you go up there, and they love guys like you. What the fuck was that, Kareem? You see that attitude, the way he threw that? Oh, just getting it off the I mic so it doesn't was. echo. I don't know what that was. <laughs> so, so what are we going to talk about? So I guess the first thing, you said you gave me attitude last time and said, I, oh, nice to hear from you. You're not. You can listen. Spit it out. You can, you can say whatever the fuck you want if you want to make fun of me. I, I, I Make fun of me. Make fun of Silvana. Do what you, I, if you got a whole routine that, you want to do, do it. That's... A routine, yeah. I got. I'm writing down fucking notes before I come in here. I would never make fun of your girl, dude. I was making fun of you doing TikTok videos, which everyone agreed was pretty ridiculous and funny. And you didn't care. You don't care about doing the videos. That's obvious. So I came on. It was funny. Eddie's like, "Oh, let's give him shit." Blah blah blah. And then I get a fucking text from Eddie or a call. He's like, "Hey, uh, we cannot be mentioning his girlfriend anymore." I was like, "All right." And then at the same time. Never heard from you after, never talked after. I was just like, oh, my God, this fucking guy is making terrible videos with his girl and then getting mad at me for making fun of him for it. Like, who is Dave Portnoy now? Because forever it was like, you shit on me, I shit on you. And then I get, I, I get word that there's, an off, there's a topic to never be brought up again. And I was like, all right, I guess our friendship's over and I'll never be on the show again. That's how it went down. And if any part of that's incorrect, Eddie, you fucking it, it wasn't right from now. me though. Tell them that. The message was not from me. Uh, Eddie, who told I it, told you. you, but I was giving a directive from someone else. Explain that. The the TikToks have no problem. The, the, I, I, there was one sense of an issue, but I don't give a fuck. I know like, you I, don't, but all of a sudden I never heard. And by from the way, you. The, the the TikToks I they go crazy viral. I get oh, yeah, numbies. I get popular we that do numbies. Way. Yeah, numbies. So I don't give a fuck, but I don't give a fuck. I've never given a fuck. I mean, the, nothing I've done on TikTok is more embarrassing than the Justin Bieber sorry video. So I like, come on. Okay, I, I don't even know what. I, and, like, and by I, the way, I'm, I'm not not talking to you. I like we what what when I want to talk to you, I talk to you. You're acting like we talk every day. What are you fucking talking? No, about? No, true, but I didn't hear from you for a while. Usually, I think I hear, I'd hear from you. I think it was if, what was that five six months ago? We probably we probably have some sort of communication. I'd say on average if, once every two to three months. So if there's a, a reason to contact with you, I, I reach out. I, and, in, and it was in Canada. Somebody told me your podcast was too long. I'm like, I'll text them right now. I go, oh, now I hear from you. It's like, I wasn't avoiding you. I would never do that. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I, you, you got an original. I, we were talking about the Hank situation, and you oh, were brought up. Fuck. I said I'd go to war for you, too. Yeah, we're, yeah, I go to war for you, Dave. You know that. I, I do think that, yeah, you, you got a tough situation here. I mean, what the hell's going on in your office? It is a tough situation. 
Not only that, I got last night, Glenny Ball's telling me everyone in this office is fucking each other. I said, Jesus Christ, thank God I'm married and I live in Boston. What a fucking gong show. Now you got fucking Marty Mush. That guy committed career suicide. What an idiot. He had to know that, right? I think he's so dumb that he didn't. But get this. Get my opinion. If I could be an agent. I would say an agent for the stars, but he's not a star. But I could be an agent because right now, that kid is an absolute moron if he's not calling up DraftKings and legitimately asking for a contract. His name's 100%. in the news. He's dead here. I'm telling him. I told Glenny, I go, if you're his real friend, first off, you're an idiot for not stopping this. And two, you should tell him literally to contact DraftKings today. They'll probably give him a million dollars. They're so stupid. <laughs> shout, out, yeah. shout out the Reading Rocket. Oh, no, it, Sa it, Saugus Rocket. It, th those two, it, it, they could have like uh, Michael Scott like negotiation where they're just each of them are going up and up. No, it's just it's ben, it's, it's, first. it's ben Affleck and uh, what's that movie when he goes in representing Matt Damon? Yeah, you're, you're a suspect. Uh, goodwill hunting. Yeah, goodwill hunting. Yeah, he had to know it was done. I mean, what is your are, are is he dead to you? Are you a Hank guy? Where are you at? Oh, of Not course that you I'm a Hank guy. I'm a Hank guy. Hank and I are very close. I would say I'm as friendly with Hank as pretty much anyone here. I love the guy from the same hometown. Situate, Massachusetts. To hear that, I said on camera today, I said, Marty always, and listen, I never had a problem with Marty. I got along with him, too. I, I always thought he was a really good guy. Same. Um, but if he, he, I said he cannot continue to wear the pink Whitney hat. He's always wearing a pink Whitney hat. I don't want that on his head anymore. I don't want yeah. that fucking thing on his head anymore. So for me, it's more about, um, you just, you never do that to somebody that you're friendly with. It doesn't even matter if they're friends. It's like, you know a guy and you know, and then the fact of the matter is, forget the relationship as a whole, to be traveling around with him in the past few months and not have told him and had the balls to talk to him and literally just man up and say it, that's the most disappointing thing. Dating somebody, whatever, things happen, but to not call somebody you know, sit near in the office and tell him, I am now banging your ex-girlfriend is a gutless move. I, I've equated it to, you know, we're not the mob, but... You're kind Hank, of like the godfather. H Hank is a made man. So even if you don't, you're not, he says not super friendly with Hank, if you fuck a made man's ex-girlfriend of four years, you're dead to the family. That's essentially what he did. He had to know that was going to be the case. I... And I said this, so it's going back. I categorically deny, uh, yes, shit happens. Relationships happen. Uh, Glenny says everyone's fucking each other in the office. Fine. I don't care about that. There's a difference between hooking up in a four-year fucking relationship. That's like two totally different categories. And at some level, everyone has a choice where you're like, I got to get out, stop, or you let it proceed. At some level, they both are like, we're going to go down this path. Yep. They had to know the consequences. It sucks because I really like Rhea or liked. I really did like Marty. I, I would have had both their backs. But Hank, Hank's a Milton guy. He, he's a made man. He it's a no-brainer. the fucking wall. Yeah. No, he's been through everything. Um, so it sucks. Here's uh, what did I say to Yeah, I said to Glennie, I said, you know what? If those two got buckled one night and they'd been friends and they hooked up, it's one thing. But they should have just looked each other in the eye after it said, never again. You know, it's one of those, like, nobody needs to know about this. Never again. I have a career. I literally have one thing. I got to keep Dave and Dan happy. And I'll fucking ride off into the set, set, sunset for years, going to March Madness and fucking Super Bowls and the dream job. And instead, for a girl, he threw it all away. And I feel bad. I don't know Rhea personally. But I think being a little bit older and seeing how maybe quick relationships can end when you're young and how stupid it is to be so short-sighted and look past the possibility of a long, successful career with a hell of a thriving company. It's just a really dumb decision. So I would say I feel bad for him, but he made his bed. Now he's got to fucking lay in it. Is marriage or bust? Yeah, but fuck. <laughs> it's marriage or bust. It's marriage or bust. It is. Oh, man. That's a tough one. I guess you're right. If she, I mean, if, hey, if, 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 she if, if it's heavily, if she breaks up with him, oh my God, he's ben, going to need somebody to come over to his house and just take all sharp objects and fucking laces out of the sneakers in the house. If she yeah. breaks up with him, he might have right. I'm not even going to say it. What a fucking ugly scenario.
But I'll say this, the web traffic must have been through the roof the past couple of days. Yeah, I'm sure it was huge. I'm sure it was huge. But I took no pleasure in it. Like, I honestly, sometimes I do. This is one of those ones It's like, ah, you know, I had to weigh in. And it, it, I it mean, when weird. we talking about relationships because we're I, I feel kind of weird i'm like yeah this is yeah weird. and they are younger and it is serious and it's their lives and i did like them but i mean caleb i i i've said this a few times i don't think people get how funny it is because we found out after the canelo fight caleb knew caleb i don't know a world but he was being dead serious he wanted me to make uh marty walk the plank and i laughed i'm like ha ha. he's like no i'm serious you're gonna make him walk the plank what, what, what plank <laughs> I have no idea. He's like, we got to find a plank and be like, this is the only chance to save your job. Make him walk the plank. And then when he lands in the water, be like, nope, you're out. Like, he was dead ass serious. No, you could so. actually get, what if you got a giant, enormous pool with a couple of great whites in there and you're like, dude, get to the <laughs> other side. He had to sign, he had to right. sign a waiver. If he dies, he dies. It, it, it'll be interesting. Like, I, he, he's got eight months. We'll see. Uh, what a tough eight months, hey? Might as well just stay at home and drop some gambling picks. I mean, people, you know what? People will probably hate you now that you, like, kind of fired him. You I'm not firing him. Or you're not renewing him or whatever? Well, he's got the – but I, you, I've i said it. We're going in circles. But, like, I'm not fighting Rhea. Rhea may not re-up with us when our contract is done because, like, you guys are dicks to my boyfriend. I don't want to be if here. If they're still together. Right, but – correct. But Rhea is, like – has a very successful franchise, makes money, a career. We want her. So I'm not, I still got to run a business. I don't think Marty can be successful without Dan and I. Yeah, well, it, you know what? This is the test. If he can be, he's going to drive. Um, and I also don't think it'll affect her in a way that like girls, girls are like, be with the man you want to be with, be with the man you love. Like girls won't dislike her at all for this. No, I, and it's a, di it's a different crowd. I, I, I think some people will be like, you really had to like, go date another guy in the office. Like, uh, you, what is that all you can date? Like office guys. But, um, I agree. It won't hurt her at all. Whitney. So. What else I mean, I got nothing else. else. I, nothing. Whitney. Yeah. Nothing else. What do you think? Uh, well, we, well, we what do you guys about think about, uh, Stephen oh, yeah. Che got his minivan stolen? Fuck Stephen Che. I wish they fucking, I wish it was like, uh, what's that movie when people were bet the other guys, when people were fucking in their car, when they found yeah, it, dirty Mike and the I boys, hope somebody stole his van. They filmed the bang bus in there and he gets it back and drives his kids to school. <laughs> Fuck Stephen Che. <laughs> so that's that. I didn't even know he had it stolen. I like <laughs> welcome to the club. I'm a Stephen Che guy, but him having a minivan is the least surprising news of all. Well, here's the story. Surprising. Yeah, it got, he, he, he woke up. It wasn't there. He's like, oh, fuck. He was tweeting that it got stolen. He found out. He thought he had auto pay on. It got repoed because auto pay wasn't on. So he just yeah. wasn't paying his yeah. monthly. Yeah, that's that's, that's another, very that's, that's unlike no Steve Che. No, I would have expected he's like very anal with that stuff. Steve and Che's an auto pay guy for everything. And then until finally one day it, it slips off like that makes no sense. There's more to that story. No, the bank was like, you have a minivan. We're not letting you set up auto pay for a fucking minivan. How's Spit and Chickless doing? How's Biz doing? Biz is Biz he just is an international it. superstar Biz now. Biz is absolutely killing it. I actually think that watching the TNT with Gretzky, Antikar talk at Biz, they kind of rotate, whatever. Biz is the star. He's a star show. He's amazing on TV. He was talking about those giant tits behind the bench in Dallas. Apparently, he got a PP whack for bringing that up. But then Charles Barkley came over with him, and he was talking about it. So I don't think you can say anything to Chuck. But Biz is the hockey version of Chuck Charles Barkley. He's right. a multi-talented, hard-working lunatic that is very quick on his feet and is really good at what he does. For us, as Chicklets, the playoffs are great. Because, I mean, listen, you, you cover one, one sport. I've said I'd love to cover other sports. It's hard from games 40 to 70. It's like, holy shit. It's the doldrums of the season. It's just like January, February, March. You get to playoffs. You get rejuvenated. We have gambling action everywhere. We're dropping picks every day. The score bet in Toronto, that's doing well, I think, I've heard. We're getting good yeah. numbies on our bets, right? Yep, yep, I think so. So I think we could really, I mean, hopefully that score bet gets into Alberta and whatever, Saskatchewan, all these other provinces. I think we could take over the gambling space, partly because of how big you are, you're saying up there, but Chicklets is a monster. I think more than half our listeners are Canadian. So yeah, no, for I, sure. I, I love I love where it's I love where we're headed. Um, I'd love to be able to uh, 
get up there soon enough. Hopefully one of the teams goes on a run as long as it's not the Leafs. It won't be the Leafs. No, the, it won't the, be. The, yeah, you're the in Le- Tampa. I hammered Tampa. Big game tonight, game five. That, that, that to me, is the dumbest lines I've ever seen in my life. A team that has back-to-back champions versus – a team that is a 30-year choke job. And I like the people of Toronto, but they won that game one. They acted, and I saw you tweet it, actually, in the beginning of the game. You're like, Tampa's not trying. You tweeted that like two or three minutes into the game. You're like, I've never seen them this slow or disinterested. I knew they were going to come back. There's no way they're losing that series. None. I don't think so either. I do Mr. Ice, Mr. Ice He's is trying so to put cold. me in. Ret- He's putting me. He, he, he may be the reason I'm taking a bus across country soon. I think that. The overs, 22 and 10 in the cup playoffs. He's 0 for 4 and then takes Florida in regulation. They win an OT. Ice he, he, is ice. He, he hasn't won a playoff game. Did you see fucking uh, Mr. Ice's dad put up a picture of his Westwood High linebacker? <laughs> is there more? What's more least surprising? Stephen Che having a minivan or Elio having that big fucking neck card when he played high school football? You know that one? <laughs> Yes, that all of it. All, all I, listen, I've seen all the LAO. I've seen the, uh, all the LAO highlights through college, the whole works. Who all watches their highlights more? Your, your Little League baseball highlights or LAO's high school? I football? don't watch them anymore. I'm a broken man. Probably LAO and his football. Probably. So, I got nothing else, Whitney. It's good to talk to you for a minute. Yeah, nice but, catching I mean, up with you guys. Uh, Eddie, anything else for myself? Nah. If the Bruins keep going... And Celtics, I may, I may make a trip to Boston and spend some time there. We, I got to see how all these playoffs shake out. When are we getting a Boston office? I talked to Minnie, and he goes, I want nothing to do with that. I don't want to see anyone. But I'd love an office to go into three, four days a week. And I know. Yeah, what about gambling? It's legal, I heard, coming up. Not yet. Maybe. Kind of convoluted. Can't right now. The, the, the bill, I don't think, has college sports in it, which is nuts. That makes sense. Yeah, I get there's one person in Massachusetts who's – I don't know who she is, but hates gambling. And she keeps trying to ruin it. So who knows? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Listen, she's we still going get after you. We get, she's probably on my side now. I mean, I've had his back so much. I would hope so. Um, one last thing. Well, why don't you come on here more? The the, why don't you come well, on here more? Uh, I don't get invited. I yeah, you do. You just, you're just you always on a golf course. No, you invite fucking pizza review guys who haven't even been shown yet over me. It's tough. Tough look, Eddie. Come on. I mean, you go way back. You're inviting guys who not one listener knows who he is. We yet. can have repeat listeners. He's always good. Like, he would have been good, good on the beginning of the show, but I don't want to rehab. We already talked yeah, about Yeah, no, I th- yeah, no. I, th- I, th- I, I was on part of my take. I'm making the rounds today talking about my Oilers. Last thing, though. When Massachusetts does get gambling, is there a chance that they would try to fuck you in, like, it's almost like New York where a Penn Barstool Sportsbook wouldn't be allowed, or we. I don't. Be- I don't. I don't think they can because Penn has a casino already, so I believe they're guaranteed a license. Oh, nice. All right. Well, that's great news. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, I run into you at some point again, and and keep making those TikTok videos. I won't say a word. They do numbies, and I really enjoy watching them and laughing. <laughs> Good. I will. All right. See you guys. See you, Whitney. See you. Bye, guys. You fucking useless muppet. <laughs> Did you see? By the way. And uh, I, while we were on Vegas, there was a, a, one of those, you know, at a club at Story, Barstool's here, Barstool's here. I was like, we're all in Vegas. Who is in Miami right now by themselves acting like they're the king of Barstool at a club? It wasn't me. And the man called Gaz, straight out of Randolph, made it all the way to the fucking top. What a he, story. I, I, I'm, I'm in and out of Miami, Florida, every 10 minutes doing work. He's just relaxing, feet up. It's nice. It's a nice life you've created for the big man. Hey, you know what, though? At some point, you're going to have to take that hat off. You hit 50, you can't keep rocking it, especially the flat brim. You might have to go to a big old fucking curved one like the kid in uh, what's that movie where he's got that fish hat with Benny the Jet. Sandlot. That's going to be Gaz's hat down the stretch, the big fish brim hat. It's good to see you, Wet. Good to see you, hats. See you, guys. See ya. (laughs) Fucking sounds like Stone Cold Steve Austin. (laughs) 